Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you're kind of drinking from a water hose a little bit, um, you know, with the reps and stuff, but I mean, for a guy like me, if I can get any type of reps first day, I mean, it, it's just a blessing in a way, so, yeah. Do you think your UFL opportunity did for you to kind of land here? Yeah, so this is the second go at it, um, XFL in 23 and then the UFL this past year, I mean, it's kind of what the league's all about, you know, just giving guys opportunities that maybe weren't in the best situation or whatever whatever that was for them. Um, so, it, you know, it's cool to be a testament to that. I think everyone in that league has dreams of being in camp. So, um, like I said, it's just a blessing to be out here. And the de developmental aspect of that league, too, is also, like, pretty sh stressed. It, it, did you feel your game kind of grow significantly during that time? Or how did you develop? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think it's grown in a lot of ways. I think the biggest way was just – you know, having to be the leader of the defense, um, being the mic, calling the plays, you know, being assertive, um, having guys, you know, look at you like as the guy to get people lined up and some, sometimes even tell them what to do. So, but I, I think you grow in all ways. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a, I was a guy who was playing 50, 60 snaps a game. So, um, you know, doing that for what, whatever it was, seven, eight games is, if you're, you know, you should grow in that situation as a player. Where were you before you got the call from Trek? Um, I was just back home in Brexel, Ohio. Um, I was just there after the season, just training, training with my old trainers and stuff like that. But I uh, figured out like late Sunday night and then flew out Monday. Or late Saturday, flew out Sunday, try out Monday. And we're all having a hard time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. Mike, what was the bounce back from the, from the uptown? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, was, I wasn't aware of that until uh, <laughs> right when I got out there. But, you know, I was good. I mean, everyone's got to do it, so I'm the new guy. I, you know, I, I get it. You got to do it. But uh, they, they let me, you know, hang out the first part of Indy, but I kind of wanted to get out there and just, you know, keep going, show them I'm in shape and stuff like that. Um, Michael Jacobson mentioned that, that you knew each other. I don't know yeah. how well you knew each other. Teammates or are you? No, so he uh, he played hoops yeah. at Iowa State. Well, so that's right. he never yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm not. I think he was maybe a year older than. I'm not really yeah. sure. Um, but you know, we probably had some athlete classes and stuff together. But we see each other around a little bit. But now nah, it's cool to uh, it's cool to see that you know a guy from your school doing the old basketball to football Is thing. it crazy though? I mean, like, he made a couple catches today too. Yeah, like, no, he's a good player. And, and I went up against him, um, you know, one time and I think like a run play and, I, you know, I was, I was impressed. You know, he's definitely going to hold his own, so. Coach Allen has made a decision on playing time. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yeah.